everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel with another knitting project and um, another capelet, I should say, this guy. Um, and as my other capelets, I have started from uh, the beau baton one in Harry Potter knitting magic, the first one. Not sure the second one is out yet. But yeah, this is um, the beau baton capelet from the book. And what I am doing is I am knitting the body and the top collar, but not the uh, spiky bits, so to say. This is going lying flat, so I am not doing these, just the body and the collar. And um, yeah, I really like the, um, the design of the the cape, so well, the capelets. So I like knitting them. Now that I finally know how um, how the pattern works, so um, I have a lot less issues knitting them because I'm kind of used to doing this. This is the fourth one in total I've knitted so far. Um, so yeah, um, this is. Well, let's talk about the yarn first. As you can see, this is a gradient yarn. This is Scapius um, Wanderlust, and this is in the colorway Ver Ver Vermont. 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 <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. But yeah, um, the color number is four five one. Um, yeah, the dye lot is not particularly relevant for you guys. This is a hundred percent acrylic yarn goes on a number four, European number four needle. Um, it is about 232 meters per 100 grams. I don't know what that is in non-metric, so I do apologize about that. Um, but yeah, I like it a lot. You can wash it on 30 degrees, but not iron it or put it in the dryer. I am fine with that. Um, I will just chuck it in the rinse wash anyway, which is just cold water slushing about. But yeah, um, I don't even dry these guys flat and it'll be fine because my other, my other capelets have all been knitted. Well, the bodies have all been knitted with scapius yarn, but usually I use Color Crafter, which is, I believe, more on a skein, but... Um, yeah, well, it's basically just plain yarn and this is a gradient one. For the color, I will use... <laughs> well, as you can see, it's been started. I will use um, more of this nice brown Bravo. Um, it's by Sachenmeier Nomota. It is a... It says, well, 3 to 4 millimeter needle. That is a 3 to 6 US needle. Um, you can actually chuck this guy in the dryer, wash it on 40 degrees. It, do it says don't iron it, but I've ironed mine during the pressing, well, blocking, and it's fine. Just don't do it too long. Um, but yeah, um, what you can have happen is that the uh, when you knit garter stitch, the ribbles, the ribs, they go flat, but when you wash it like once or two times, they'll be back into shape. Um, I know this from experience. I have done it. <laughs> it's in another video, which actually may go up later because I have, um, I'm waiting for one more item to be able to film the reveal on that one. And that's all I'm going to say about it because I'm working on it. But yeah, anyway, um, the brown I am using is colorway, Lord knows where it is. I can never find anything on these on these wrappers. Am I the only one who has this issue? Ah, I found it. It is color 08281. Now, like I've said in like every video I've used Bravo in, the first O usually gets dropped. So you might also find it under 8281. And some uh, websites will list it as a color and not a number. And in that case, it will be brown. Um, at least that's what, was it, what it was under on the Sachermeyer Nomota website. But you can also, when you're not sure about the name, just click the color and see what number shows up and then um, compare it that way. So you will always find the right one. 
Um, and this is 133 meters per 50 grams or 1.75 ounce. Uh, and that is 145 yards, if I read this correctly. But yeah, 100% acrylic. So this is a fully acrylic um, project. And I am nearly to the point where I need to cast on another skein. And this will be a two skein project. There's a little less, because, oh, I have a color crafter wrapper. On color crafter, you get um 300 meters so you get a wee bit more because this is um 232 so not that much more but uh any case two skeins <laughs> and you get this super super cool gradient this is actually the top of the cape so as you can see it goes into green mustard this sandy beige dark browns, warm browns, it's super cool. I really, really like this gradient. So um, yeah, if I, for some, some bizarro reason, end up with not enough yarn um, in these two skeins, I will use some leftover yarn from, I don't, aha, here it is. I will use some of this leftover Color Crafter yarn, which is just a dark brown. It's the same needle thick thickness, um, needle width. It's also a European number four. So yeah, that doesn't actually matter much for me. So um, I'm just gonna be using that one. I will not knit any of the mohair yarn in it because I feel like it's already very beautiful um, without it needing more sparkly detailing. So yeah, that's my plan. And um, as you can see, this skein is nearly finished. So I'm nearly at the point where I will cast on the second skein and finish it up. I have discovered that um, <laughs> blocking your color is actually really a thing. And if you don't know how to block acrylic yarn, Mas Knitting has a really good tutorial on her blog. And I will link to that because it is so helpful and I wish I had known how to do it when I knitted my, well, first complete, because I knitted one that didn't come out well at all. But when I did my first complete um, beau baton, well, it's it's actually the beau baton cape, but just in completely different colors. One day I will knit one in the actual movie colors today. It's not that day, obviously, but yeah. Um, Knitting a capelet, another capelet, will update when I'm um, working on the rest of it. Or maybe I will just go straight into the reveal because I feel like I'm boring all of you with more capelets and uh, this is not going to be the last one. What can I say? I have a problem. But they're just so easy to throw on when you're a bit chilly and they're so comfortable around the house and outside when you go for a walk and you just have like a small um, satchel, God's words, and you just pull the cape over it, it the bag doesn't get in your way, backpacks plus capes or cables, big nope. But you know, um, yeah, just such an easy, comfortable, cute garment. Yeah, love it. Must, must knit more. Also, these are like pretty cheap yarns, so they're pretty cheap projects. That totally helps. We'll see you in the next part. As you can see, I have cast on the second skein. Well, I basically made a knot and <laughs> just did it that way. It's not the neatest way, but it's on the inside. Nobody will see it. I actually really like the gradient on the inside of the capelet, on the wrong side. But I think this is super cool. I actually kind of like it better than the neater version on the right side, but nothing I can do about it now. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I have um, rolled it in a way that I would be able to start with approximately the same color. So you wouldn't notice it too much other than then, of course, it's maybe a little bit wider than it would have been other well, as in, 
thicker, <laughs> thicker stripe than it would have been normally. And here is the second skein, which is still nice and fat. But yeah, continuing the skatelet. Totally unrelated, I got this super cute flat cap pillow at H&M. Well, from the website, from a children's department, and it is so soft, oh my god. But yeah, totally unrelated. And I'm back with Kiwi Chow for the final thoughts. <laughs> yeah, she has to be included because otherwise she will be upset. Now she's coming onto my lap, which you won't be able to see, but she is here. Ah, there we go. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I am um, <laughs> finished the scapelet. It's in, um, as you can see, a gradient yarn, very warm. It is warmer than Color Crafter, I would say. Uh, I like it a lot. It's very soft, even softer than Color Crafter. Not sure I believe the anti filling. The color is just. Sachenmeier Nomota Bravo. I have a lot of Bravo left and I like the brown colors. Um, the loop is also some leftover of this because you can't really tell because when it curls up, but it ended with the brown. So that worked out. The loop is a bit long though. The button I was given by my neighbor. Thank you, Yessi. It's I like it a lot. It's a nice color of brown. Yeah, just another capelet. I like it. I like capelets. So what can I say? So yeah, not much to tell. Um, I think I know the pattern by heart by now, and um, I will probably knit more of them because they're so comfortable. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. There's not much more to say about it by now, and nothing I haven't said in any of the other capelet project videos. And there will probably be more because I really enjoy knitting capelets. So yeah, if you liked this video, please give it well a like, subscribe if you haven't already and want to stick around and if leave a comment. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. I will see you in the next one. Bye!